Moses wouldn't hurt a fly. Would you, darling? Moses, get him. Go. Yeah. Get him. Get me, Moses. Good job, partner. He's a hero, that man on that horse there. Get on the roof. Oh, God. Yeah, let's go. I got the flaming, the flaming horse. No. Get up. John. Howdy, fellers. We're darn tootin' about to do another video of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Let's get right into it. So last episode, we cleaned Blackwater. Our son and wife were turned zombie, And we're on a mission to find a cure. you whistle anywhere in the world your horse will come to you like in real life too like you just whistle right now a horse will bust through my door and I'll jump on him and ride him to my objective <laughs> folks okay oh just fantastic I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. <laughs> my daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. Blame the government. And I pay my taxes. Well, usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. <laughs> oh, what in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh. Not now, Toreen. Not this again. Your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man! Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscences. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? You could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. <laughs> Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. <laughs> See? That feller ain't hiding away like a little girl who's wet herself. I thought we agreed we should stick together. Oh, so we're just gonna stay up here till we either starve or have to eat each other? What do you want me to do? I ain't God. <laughs> that surely you ain't. Oh, you're as useless as a four-car flush. Oh, God, I should have married for a second when I had the <laughs> chance. Not this again. Maybe you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you take that tone with me. He ain't that big. And he knows how to treat a lady. Another ten pounds and he could join a sideshow. Don't speak to me. I don't even want to hear your whining voice. Suits me just fine. All right. That was wonderful. This is great so far, guys. These people are just having a time here. You one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Well, don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. Well, I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them! Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with a glass eye, he caused this. No, 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 it's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon, some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now, stand back. <laughs> Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. <laughs> Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <laughs> well, at least my 
husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravity. Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. <laughs> This is great. Why do I not remember this being like this funny? Quick little bastard. It's kind of like cheesy funny. Let's go. We got enough problems without stealing off each other. Oh man, she gave me you some repeater right, ammo. Sir. Sorry, mister. Alright. Time to travel on. What? Stay down. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, them people were really having an argument there in the sound. That was. That was pretty good. Now I'm ready for some action. Time to kill some more zombies, maybe clean out another town. What do you guys think? Alright, let's head over here to Thieves Landing, I think it is. That was a zombie goat. Whoa there. Or maybe a regular goat. Is that a zombie? Survivors. What in the world? Oh my goodness. Oh my 
goodness, how do they punch me from so far away? Come on. Here, lady, take my revolver and uh stay alive now. Get over there! Run! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man, he almost got my legs, partner. Oh my goodness, I am jumping all in the wrong places. Dude. <sighs> my character has got issues. She almost got me. <laughs> oh my god, guys. No! Come on! What the heck? Oh, jeez. I am the most awful player at this game. At least I know where to go now. Take it slow here this time. What in tarnation? Take my ammo, lady. This should keep it going. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh. See, if I'd have known there was a ladder there, I wouldn't have uh, basically jumped down. All right, there's the other guy. I think I can hardcore a little bit. Take out some of the undead. Uh, uh. We got it. We saved the town. We're awesome. This is something I don't want to think about. I'm gonna loot all the corpses. Time for my pound of flesh. That's all you've got for me? Let's open these gates up. Get over him. Guys, I'm stuck on a dead body here. Okay, there we go. Now you're talking.
my horse is unable to find me back here. So I need to get the heck out of this area. Alright, we're going to the U symbol, which is the undead nightmare quest. Flyers. Might as well. Come on. Oh man. We're getting closer to you. here and I'd like to keep it that way so I rarely venture out I've got my experiments here to keep me happy I have extra fun if they're still kicking if you can bring them back alive uh, undead oh yeah I must be crazy but worth a try I suppose let's go I gotta save an undead person and bring it back okay you plague ridden freak Behave! We're taking the zombie to the doctor. Been eating well, have you? I'm coming, doctor. Research, mister. Wow! You really hit the mother load, I see. I can learn a lot from these thingamabobs, I'm sure. Bruh. Thingamabobs? This is something I don't want to think about. Don't you come alive again now. He wanted an experiment. I bet he's gonna experiment it. Experiment all kinds of weird things with that. Oh, gosh. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John? He's... He's, 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 a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. 
Come on. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? <laughs> I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo! Big tough John Marson has scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater are blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them, folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get him! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him. Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Clear out three new Austin graveyards. I can handle that. Let's go. Ooh, a mythical creature has appeared. Come on. Oh. It's a it's a war horse. Check it out. Get over here. Easy now. Oh my goodness. Great maniac. I got you now. Oh my goodness, guys. This is some crazy nonsense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay on the horse. Now I'm stay on the horse. I must be out of my mind. Almost got you. Well, creature of the night. These goddamn creatures. Come on. Come on, nearly got you. Yeah, let's go! I got the flaming, the flaming horse. That's awesome. This is so sick. I've already got one of the cooler horses in the game. Oh my goodness. I'm so saving. War can set enemies on fire. That is awesome.
This is so freaking cool. Now I have unlimited sprint. Just so cool, guys. All right, guys, I am going to save Armadillo. From the undead. Marshal? <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? I don't know. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling? Bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and then just disappear. The town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition. I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? 
out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Oh, right, I just got the double barrel sawn off. My goodness, I made a lot of progress this round. I'm gonna hitch my war horse here, partner. It's darn tootin' been a good episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I saved a couple towns, made a couple quests happen. We're getting into this now, we're getting into the thick of it, so I'm gonna save the game and all that good stuff all right guys thank you so much like i said like and subscribe right now or these zombies are gonna come eat you and your family partner peace